Yo, what's going on, gang? Darrell Hoshing Photography back on the scene, crispy and clean. Yo, I got a dope lens that the people at Seven Artisans sent me. This is a 50. Look at this. It comes in this nice little case. It's a 50 millimeter f1.05 bokeh lens. Crazy. f1.05. Uh, now, I've never shot that wide before. Um, previously, 1.2 1, 1 is the most, the widest I've shot. My first time shooting this wide and boy it's crazy it's a manual focus lens so that does make it a little bit more difficult because um you know we got some wicked autofocus with our cameras unfortunately we can't use those features with this lens you're not going to be spraying praying and bah, 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 bah. you ain't gonna be doing none of that because manual focus we can't do that if your camera has the auto focus assist peaking assist if you have the peaking assist i highly suggest you putting that on um, it definitely helped me when I was shooting with it. Um, if you're used to shooting manual focus, then cool. This is going to be right up your alley. But for me, it's a, bit, a little bit of a learning curve. But once you get the hang of it, you'll get it real quick. This lens is very inexpensive. Um, at the time of this video, B&H has it for $437.40. That's on sale. Save 10%. Uh, original price is $486 US dollars. The, the bulk is nice. I'll show you a couple shots here where the background is just totally creamy just blurred out um it's just very it's very kind of dreamy you know what i mean and it's good with flash it's good with natural light the lens it's all metal it feels very strong and durable so now now the downside with this lens is i wish that the the aperture ring i wish it had clicks and that's the thing with this lens you don't change the aperture in the camera you change it actually on the lens another learning curve you're gonna have to get used to but uh what happens is it's very smooth and it's right next to the, the focusing. So when you're focusing, because again, it's manual focus, you have to use your hands physically to turn. It's right next to the, the aperture ring. So what happens is sometimes without even noticing, you might even turn, change the aperture by accident. And that happened to me. I got an amazing shot and I was like, yo, it's in focus, yo, it's sharp. And then I found out I'm at like F 1.4 or I'm at F 2 and I was like, damn it. So that's one thing you gotta be careful of. I wish they had clicks where, or even just like lock it in so that you don't accidentally change your aperture. And because it is at F1.05, you're not gonna get every shot in focus. So if you're used to shooting and getting everything in focus, uh, you better not get used to that because this lens, it's not really a sharp lens. It's more of a bokeh lens. You're gonna get that nice creamy bokeh. So. Don't expect the eye to be tacked sharp. You can get it sharp. It's just not gonna be tacked sharp that, that you're used to. If you are one of those pixel peepers, then you gotta zoom in and check everything. Every pixel has to be razor sharp. Then this lens is not for you. I'll take you into the field. I did a natural light shoot and I did a one with flash. And of course I used the Westcott FJ200 strobe. If you want anything from Westcott, make sure you use my link in the description down there and that is gonna help me out. So without further ado, Let's go out and see how this bad boy performs. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button two times to be sure. And don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, hit the little bell thingy, comment, share, subscribe. I said that already, but do all that stuff and I'll catch you guys on the next video.